today's video we have my client Amanda. She is the sweetest thing ever and she has been coloring her hair a level three, basically black for a long time. And we are going to take her to this gorgeous ombre color. So as you can see her hair is very, very dark and her roots are a little bit more natural. So we're trying to go more so towards a really gorgeous natural color. So to get that black out, I'm using the Pravana color extractor. You just mix it like it says on the box with one to one, um, part one and then part two. So I'm going to shampoo her hair using a sulfate free shampoo. This one it comes in the box. I love that this kit has everything that you need. It's so convenient. That was my dog because my husband just got home and she's excited. Anyways, I'm going to put a bag on her hair and put her under the dryer for 20 minutes. I did two processes for her hair. So I did this whole process of shampooing, putting the color extractor on, and then rinsing out and doing it all over again. And it brought it up to this kind of brownie red color. And you can see the picture before, it was really black. So now I'm going to go in and tone this. I'm going to be using Shades EQ 8GN and 6T. Um, normally when you're going in with these colors, you wanna go lighter than what you actually wanna do because it might oxidate oxidize a little darker so it turned out perfect I left that on for about 20 minutes and it turned to the perfect color it toned out that red and made it a beautiful brown because the GN and the 6T just made it so gorgeous as you guys can see and Shazy Q is so great to work with because it adds so much shine to the hair so now we're going to go in and do the ombre part I'm using Blonde Me by um Swartz Cough. I love this liner. It's one of my favorites and I'm going to be using Continuum. This is by DS Labs. It is just like Olaplex except um, by a different company. So I'm going to do a scoop of my lightener and then I'm going to be using a 20 volume developer because you do not need to bump up your developers with Continuum, which is a great thing that I love about this product. So I'm going to kind of mix it a little bit thicker than normal and then I'm going to measure my Continuum. You want to mix your products before you add in continuum and then I'm going to be adding one fourth to every scoop so I did two scoops so I'm going to be adding a half then I'm just going to clip her hair up working from the back nape area and I'm going to take a small section down and I'm going to tease all of her roots when I'm going through and doing this because it's going to whenever we actually brush our hair it's going to be even softer and more seamless so starting with a very large section I'm going to be painting how I do my balayages. So what I do is I paint kind of like a V section like you see me doing. I kind of go up on the sides and then meet in the middle for that V formation. And then I paint the ends with my lightener. Now I'm painting the center of this because a few parts are still a teeny bit red. And so I just went in with that same 8GN and 6T and I'm just kind of painting on those parts that are still a little bit red for me. I'm going to lay down another foil. I'm using foils because I want to have the heat in her hair to kind of lock it in and make sure that it's going to process because we've got to get through a little bit of color on her hair. So then I'm going to take down another section like you see me doing and I'm actually going to do a few different ways of adding color into her hair. So this time I'm taking very large chunks of her hair. I'm going to hold that up and then everything underneath, I'm going to just add a little bit more of that, that um, HN and 6T where I see a little bit of redness and then I'm kind of going to go back up tease these little like chunks that I took out I'm going to lay down a foil on top of my balayage board this is a really great thing like if you guys love to use balayage boards and if you want to use foils just lay your foil on top of your balayage board because it keeps your board from getting really dirty and then I'm just going to be painting this like I did the other ones I'm going to be doing a V formation and then going in the center of that again with my 8GN and 6T. So I'm kind of going to be doing this all over her hair. I wanted to show you guys how I go in and kind of do these color corrections. So I'm going to lay down another foil and then I'm going to section off another section. And if you guys are thinking like what's happening to that hair that was kind of left out of the foil, well I just remembered I forgot about that. So because we did not do the ends and I want all of her ends to be light, I'm going in and just kind of brushing that lightener through the ends. I'm not actually going and making my V balayage formation because I'm just going to kind of brighten these ends just a little bit towards the very like three inches of her ends. So going back to that previous section, I'm going to grab 
I'm going to now start breaking it up into two sides. So I'm going to tease my roots and then the underneath that I'm actually not coloring the ombre all the way up, I just kind of painted that 6T and 8GN again. And again, I'm doing it here in the center of it. So this is another thing. If you guys are doing these color corrections and you still see a little bit of either warmth in the hair that you don't want to see, don't be afraid to tell your client, hey, I still see a little bit of warmth in your hair, but I'm going to go through and correct it while I'm adding in your balayage because your clients will trust you even more when you're letting them know, I see that warmth, you see that warmth, I'm going to take care of it. So I'm going to take another section from the side of her head, paint on that 8GN and 6T underneath, and then just kind of balayage those ends a little bit just by brushing on the lightener on the ends. And then for the section that I'm actually going to do a balayage, I'm going to tease the roots, lay it down on my foil and board, and then I'm going to do my little V section again, and I'm going to place my 8GN and 6T in the center. And I don't do the 8GN and 6T all over the head, just in the places, like I said, that I see warmth. I might be rambling, but sometimes these applications, when you're doing them, it's not just like a very strict, this is how you do it. It can be kind of a mixture of things, and that's what I wanted to show, and that's why I'm making this a little bit longer than normal. And if you guys see me using a funny little blush brush, this is actually the Redken Blur Brush. It is such a great tool. When I first saw it, I was like, that is a joke. What is that supposed to do? And then my friend Shannon and Mandy, um, that do YouTube, I saw on their Instagrams that they were using it, and I was like, oh, that's what it's for. So it's for blending these lighteners, and it works so well. I love to blend it for, like, any harsh lines that I see. So you guys can see me using it here. I just kind of, like, blend it down, and it works so amazing. I can't tell you how much I love this little funny blush brush. So you guys can see me using it here. I just kind of blend it up in places where I feel like it might be a little too harsh. So I'm going to continue to take a, another section and pull it down. I'm kind of doing like a bricklay pattern. If you guys have done a perm before, it's not going to be like perfect sectioning or anything like that because I like my ombre sombres to be a little bit more organic. And I feel like when you take different sections it's going to be more organic than if you were to do like a regular foil and you want it all in a very specific neat pattern that's what i love about these colors they're so artistic and just whatever you decide you want to do with that client's hair so now we have all of her foils on her head and you guys can kind of start to see the process a little bit and the color processing and the lightning happening and you guys can see her ends are lightening up so so well I'm so happy with how well they're lightening up. I mean, guys, we started with black hair, black hair, and look at how light it is getting. So now I'm going to tone it. For the root area, I'm going to be using 9B and 8N. The 8N has that depth that I want, a little bit more depth, and the 9B is going to help to tone out any orange. I'm going to put this from roots to kind of mid-shaft. And then from mid-shaft to ends, I'm making a mixture of 9N, a half ounce of 9N to a quarter 9V and a quarter 9T. This is going to help to cool everything down and just make it blend flawlessly. And you guys can see here with the after, the color is so beautiful and very natural and soft and it just blends so softly. So you guys can see like some of those top parts a little bit more sombre, but the ends are nice and bright and just gorgeous. I am so happy with how it turned out. And I know Amanda is too. She sent me a text after and she was like, Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I love my hair and I love being able to share this with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this, please give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.